Hello everyone. Um, I'm going to cover the topic called locus and parabola, and particularly for this one, we regarding to the parameter. Okay. So you guys learn you guys learned about the uh, parabola, but uh, what I'm going to cover throughout this lesson is regarding the parameter. You have to have a good understanding what parameter is. The parameter, well, so as you can see in the, in the diagram on the board, uh, x. Uh, pro numeral of the variable x is talking to t and then y is talking to t x and y they don't talk to each other okay it's a kind of third party people say for example hey i i want to do this one so my input value is this one can you pass that one to y and this guy is doing something and they have their own relationship they pass that parameter to here okay like okay uh, my name is ben uh, hey, uh, my name is Ben. Uh, can you pass my message to well, yellow? Okay, and then the parameter T, guys in the middle, say Tom is uh, sending the, uh, the Ben's message to other guys, and etc. So that's the parameter. So something, a kind of manager or something kind of agent who is working in between those two parties, or more than more two parties. Okay, do you understand that? So that's called parameter. Uh, compared to the parameter, well, we don't need we don't need these parameters. So then they can find the equation say y equals to two x plus one. So this is called parametric. Sorry, sorry. This is called Cartesian equation. Okay, Cartesian. Okay, there are two different things: parametric equation or parameters, or the Cartesian equation. The only thing that you can uh, identify which one is which if you have any. Uh, letter rather than x, y, and something else. That's parameter. Okay, parametric equation, and only have if if the equation has only two pronumerals x and y or m and n, a and b, that is Cartesian equation. Okay, so particularly for this lesson, I am going to cover regarding to uh, how to make the Cartesian equations from the parametric equations. Okay, it's not too difficult, but I'll show you how to do. Okay, guys. Look at this one. Find the Cartesian equation of x equals to blah, y equals to t squared. Now, something like this one. Okay, so x is talking to t, and then t is talking to y. Okay, so, so what you are going to do now, we are going to eliminate t. Okay, as long as the t is disappeared, and as long as the x and y are connected with equal sign, that's pretty much it. Okay, so we'll see how we go. So firstly, I'm going to make t the subject, and I'm going to make it t is written in terms of x, like this one. So t is x plus 2, which we just did some algebra to make the t the subject. And then that's t, okay, and that is t. So we're going to substitute the x plus 2 in here, and that's it. Okay, see here, As t has disappeared. That's all you want. Does it make sense? Okay? So, as long as well, you don't have to expand this one, okay. You may want to expand, that's not a trouble, so but that's not the point of this topic. As long as t is disappeared or any parameter, well, the parameter may not be always t, maybe theta, maybe any kind of alpha, whatever, okay. As long as they are not, you know, uh, two main pronumerals, then that's parameter, okay. So I show you the first examples, first questions how to eliminate the parameter and making the Cartesian equations from it. Okay, so let's jump on to the next one. Okay, similar, okay, so we have the same question. So what, I, what, what, what do you want to see? Uh, try to eliminate t, okay, so because t is the parameter. How to make t the subject in terms of x? Well, divided by 6, okay, so t equals to x on 6, and then that's t, that is t, sub them in. Technically, this is the Cartesian equation because the parameter t is disappeared. So no parameter. So it is Cartesian equation. Okay. No matter it is simplified or not, it is Cartesian equation. All right? Now next step is to just make it simpler. So that's all, all you're gonna do. Right? We did many many times of this one. Expand the bracket and cancel three and thirty six. So x squared on twelve. So the answer is. Uh, x squared is 12. So that's how you make the parametric equation. You probably notice how you, how you can do. Okay, you probably notice how you can do. So the preliminary way in uh, removing the t, uh, make the t the subject either one or you know 
one of these two equations, okay? And then sub that, sub it, sub t that back in, that's pretty much it, okay? Look at the third one. You probably have noticed what you can do, okay? Now, x equals to 1 on t. So, how do you make t the subject? Yeah, 1 on x. The substitute 1 on x into here. That's it. Too easy. So, t disappears, okay? Question 4. Well, these are the, actually a parametric equation of the parabola, so you will see this parametric equation many, many times in the, in the near future. So please bear the, these two equations in, in, in your mind. Okay, same story. Make t the subject. Okay, so t is x on 2a. So that t into here, Cartesian equations already. Okay, so simplify to make your perfect answer. Expand and cancel A and A. Okay, that's pretty much it. So that's the answer. That's the Cartesian equation. Too easy. This is a little tricky. Okay, this is what, what, why, why this is tricky? Because there are two t's, the two t squares. So it is not actually easy to make the t the subject. Okay, so I'll show you a little, uh, little different way that we I used to do in the for the preceding four questions. What I want you to do is to square the first one here. Okay? We, can, we can do anything that you want to. Okay? If you square both sides, yeah, it, it's, it's still equal. It's still equal. So expand this one, guys. Okay? Expand this one. Okay? Then we have two in the middle. Okay? So how you do, look at this one. t squared plus 1 on t squared is y. You understand it? So we can sub it back. So that's why it's all. Oh, T's disappeared. Done. Write your final answer. That's the final Cartesian equation. Okay? So I showed you just one, one of the uh, extra examples uh, which you, where you cannot make T the subject. You can do something else like this one. Okay? So it's like an uh, algebraic question. But again, that's the uh, Cartesian equation question in eliminating the t, okay? Okay, so that's the Cartesian equation.